This, ladies and gentlemen, is what a nervous breakdown looks like when the one you're crushing on is avoiding you like the plague. Misinformation is beginning out of control, and nothing proves it more than this Imani Khalif uh, female Olympic boxer situation. Just, let's roll the clip of Trump talking about uh, how he feels about her. And I'd like to congratulate the young woman who transitioned uh, from a man into a boxer. You saw he won. She won the gold medal. How about the young Italian, beautiful Italian boxer? She got in there and she didn't know what was going on and she was a very good boxer, you know, against other women. She didn't count on this. And he's up here, boom, one little jab, whoa. She goes, nobody ever hit me that way. Then he goes, boom, and she said, okay, I had enough. It's crazy what they're doing. And this person won the gold medal. Did they win the gold medal today? What do you think of that, Tim? I don't think Tim, I don't think Tim likes it. Uh, Greg, no good, right? No, how crazy is it? How crazy is it? For four more years, crazy, and she wants it. She wants men to play in women's sports. She wants. Every time I hear him talk, I just get so <laughs> lost in translation of what he's like actually saying. Ripping, How did Kamala get into this? Yeah, he's, he's basically. That's what this whole situation is. Really, uh -huh. it's the um, the conservatives found uh, angle to try to. Uh, it's it's based in lies to mm. try to. Uh, Film a narrative, basically. Yeah. The whole narrative they're trying to fill is, oh, oh, uh, the Democrats are getting too woke. They're making the, the Olympics woke. They're making all society woke. And Look at them. They got they made a trans boxer come in and beat up uh, other women, and, yeah. do, and it's like, which is doesn't even make any sense because how would they make the entire Olympics woke? From a U.S. perspective, like how would we be able to even do that? Yeah, and it's, it's just also the idea is hilarious. Like Algeria is like a woke country coming in, trying yeah. to like, bro, these are like deeply religious Muslim countries. Like, exactly. Uh, but yeah, we can explain more about how the, all the misinformation going on with this boxer. Uh, mm -hmm. There's another, there's another clip we have that goes into the detail. Is the IOC allowing a non-biological woman to compete in their boxing competition at the Olympics? The answer on the surface is yes, but when you dig in, it's a little bit more complicated. This is Iman Khalif. The Algerian is the most controversial athlete at the Olympics right now. This morning, Iman fought Angela Caratini from Italy. Angela, 45 seconds in, after taking a few punches, retired. She went over to her corner and said, I cannot do this anymore. I'll show you the video, but the Olympics would take it down. Um, so I'm only going to show you screenshots. Here is an overhand right from Iman. Here's some footage from 2022 when Iman did compete before, oh man, before the IDA slash IDF banned Iman. The, here is a, a look at the situation. I mean, that is some serious, serious boxing. They connected very hard. They are wearing headgear, but Angela felt this punch and said, I, I can't do this. After the fight, she was very emotional, of course, and said, I've never been hit so hard in my life. It's up to the IOC to judge. Now, what does she mean by this? I, I, I got a comment on that. That is a crazy statement to say as a boxer. I've never been hit so hard in my life. Like, bro, <laughs> like, I get it. Like, you know, sometimes you have people like, um, I forgot his name, the Bronze Bomber, um, and other yeah. people that just Deontay hit. Deontay Wilder. De Deontay yeah. Wilder, thank you. That just hit extremely fucking hard. Yeah. That's not something you should be admitting in public. Yeah. Now it makes took, it look like she, she just took one out. jab. And if you watch the video, mm -hmm. like her defense was kind of shitty. Like yeah. she, she was like, I mean, no matter how, it, you fighting a man, you at least got to, if you think you're fighting a man, at least have good defense. Like, exactly. She's still wide what makes open. It worse is you're a cop. But the funny part, yeah, she quit. And then her, everyone, Italians were in her comments, like, mm -hmm. you're a quitter. Good. <laughs> you quit. Good. After one punch, you didn't even get knocked out. You didn't even get stunned. Yeah, you just quit one after punch one punch. Was enough. She was like, "Oh shit, this is serious." And the crazy part is, uh, Imani Imani Khalif, the the girl that beat that uh, beat her, mm -hmm. she ha they trained together growing up. Oh, that's fucked when up. When they were young, so she know they know each other for a minute. Yeah, she trained with her growing up. It's not like this is the first time you've been hit by her. <laughs> you've trained with her. No, that I'm sorry, <laughs> I didn't know that, and that. I mean, obviously, it yeah. doesn't really change my narrative, but it really does change my opinion on this woman specifically. Yeah. You knew who this person was for a very long time, and because you lost, yeah. now you want to play the card yeah. that I'm a man? And, and, and Monica Khalif, she has like six, I want to say six to nine losses on her record. Yeah. There's other women that was beat like her. nine wins, six losses, something like that. Six losses. That, nine, yeah. There's six women out there that beat her. Yeah, and you, there was a few. And you, you were just not up for the challenge. You just gave up after one punch. You Fuck left, all that. You're in the I'm, Olympics. You're representing your country. You get a chance to do 
gold yeah. in your car. That's fucking. You know how honored. How many people would love to be in your in your yeah. shoes? And you're like, nah. I'm sorry. I'm. I didn't. I had no idea that they trained together like for a very yeah. long period of time. I, I did not know, and that made me more disgusted. And, on and, this situation. and to be fair, since then, Angela has apologized. I don't know if he, he covers that in this clip, but Angela. Has yeah, apo- uh, I, mean, I would hope so. Yeah, she's a fucking backlash. You look like an asshole. Yeah, she said the backlash has gotten out of control. She never said that. Uh, she never said she knew her, her status, her gender yeah. status, what, or what it was, but. They're, let's get into the lies about her gender status now. They go even deeper. Khan has been barred from competing in world competitions that are governed by the International Boxing Federation. They were disqualified on March 24th, 2023. The disqualification was a result of their failure to meet the eligibility criteria for t- participating in a women's competition as set and laid out in the IBA regulations. Point to the note, the athletes did not undergo a testosterone examination, but were subject to a separate and recognized test whereby the specifics remain confidential. Now, you may be reading that and thinking, oh, Iman must be a male. Transition to get a gold medal. Does not seem like that's the case. All indications are that Iman was raised as a woman um, and is possibly intersex. Iman and another competitor uh, have DSD, which is referred to as differences in sex development. And because of, um, you know, as you can see, hormones, um, uh, rare conditions involving genes, hormones, and reproductive organs, Iman and this other competitor have very high levels of testosterone for. So this is actually, uh, this clip is a little older. He's actually, this actually isn't necessarily correct. The uh, there they never tested their testosterone for one, so there's okay. no there, there's no evidence of her having higher testosterone. And on top of that, the um, people were saying she's intersex or she has some gender disease. That was never confirmed. The only thing, uh, so the IBA never released their testing for her. They ne- mm. they said it was they said it was it was uh they, they uh it was private and they they weren't gonna release it, which is fine. But then. No one even said there she had XY chromosomes. She was intersex, except for one chairman said it in a telegram thing. Okay. And that's the source everyone's using to say she's intersex. And this is like a, a highly, uh, they have uh, a history of corruption, this boxing confederation, uh-huh. because they're, they're known for like manipulating records. There's like boxing Russian stars that they want to like gas up and, and tear down. So there's, I'm not saying that necessarily happened, but oh, okay. there's a history of corruption and to the point where the Olympics didn't uh is not using the IBA for for their boxing uh at all so but they, she's suspended from the IBA though still she's suspended from the IBA but yeah that's a one confederation that's not that's you know has some very suspicious things going on there with corruption I guess my question like would be and obviously I don't expect you to know the answer but mm-hmm. what stake would they have in this to go that far to say that she's a man for this Italian woman you know what i mean yeah well the yeah the only not they weren't saying that for this this was mm-hmm. like from an old fight years ago okay. that had nothing to do with the Italian fight. Oh, okay. For okay. an old fight years ago, they said that uh, she failed the gender test when she was facing a Russian prospect. And okay. the argument okay. is they were trying to, you know, they wanted to, that yeah, Russian prospect. Yeah, now I'm tracking. And, okay, I get it now. But, you know, I'm not, so that's like, that's not necessarily 100% confirmed. I don't want to say that as fact, but mm-hmm. yeah, there's no evidence of her being uh, intersex. No evidence of her being transgender. She was raised a little girl. So there's pictures of her as a child. Uh, like all female clothing was, you know, around, around her family. Yeah. She, she was trained in Italy with other women, like no evidence of being trans being trans is illegal in Algeria. It's not like something they, they're yeah, very that's frowned a, upon. Like that, that thing that's a really interesting to, thing to me as well is that how far people are willing to go to say that she's transgender not fully understanding the extent of religion outside of America. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, it, I get in America, like, we can relatively just do whatever the fuck we want. That does yeah. not apply to the entire world. And it all goes to paint the narrative, because they're like, yeah, they're all so woke. But it's like, bro, Algeria is not a woke country, yeah. bro. What are you, you know, that reminds about? me of, um, this is completely, like, off track, but when Shikari uh, was smoking weed, mm-hmm. and uh, obviously she got suspended by the Olympics and Team USA, and I'm like... Guys, like I understand in this country, mm-hmm. weed is legal and we're pretty cavalier about it to some extent. Other countries, you're pretty much clipped for doing certain shit like mm-hmm. that. I, we got to stop real thinking that we're the center of the universe and mm-hmm. other countries don't exist and how they operate. Yeah. It's the same situation here. This is very small minded if you even begin to think like that that she's transgender absolutely and it all all this changed i'm done with the clip, but all this changed into a, a, like a crazy narrative where everyone's trying to a lot of conservatives especially are trying to push the point of like yeah this, this is just this woke agenda that's put, getting and pushed that's on that everything is. and that's that's how this is like how all misinformation works it's crazy mm-hmm. like one lie gets snowballed into a greater agenda and now it's like oh kamala harris is supporting women yeah. getting beat <laughs> like the, people are calling it domestic abuse because it's like it's, it's like insane which is it's yeah. a, which is its own issue because some, some people disagree about trans fighters coming in in sports and but that's not even a conversation that yeah. needs to be had here because it's not happening it's not even happening yeah, yeah that's the, <laughs> that's the it's crazy like, it's not happening yeah. right now so to make this person the face of that conversation yeah. when she's clearly not 
transgender that goes way against her religion yeah. and you're just doing it because <laughs> this dainty fucking white woman said I never got that hit hard in my life. You fucking kidding me? <laughs> yeah, it's insane. You're, and, and I'm glad her country is calling her out and be like, yo, you're a quitter. Yeah. You quit 46 seconds and you got punched once with a basic jab and I was like, oh shit. I'm out. I got nothing for you. Yeah, it's nuts. It's No. Now, and my mind is just taking me to a different place because I've thoroughly enjoyed the Olympics, but I'm a little confused on how some of these people got in the Olympics. Mm -hmm. Like her, for example, yeah. some other countries in track and field. I'm like... <laughs> some sports just... <laughs> can I go claim... Sit there was this one high jumper that did not jump over the bar. Like he jumped under <laughs> it completely. He just, he just did a little flop. Yeah, 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 and I'm like, like can bro. I get my citizenship <laughs> there and compete? Bro, I was watching the basketball uh, Olympics and there was uh, like, uh, I forgot, I think it was like Qatar, Qatar, some like Arab country was in there and they had like some dude off the bench that looked like me and I'm like, damn bro, maybe my dreams are still alive. Maybe I could compete. I think they are. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Like at this point, I, 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 you might not get, oh, let me rephrase that. You won't get gold. <laughs> I'm, I'm just trying to get playing time. I just want to say I guarded LeBron James yeah, for possession. Because you'll be considered an Olympian <laughs> at that point. Yeah. I think, but, I mean, yeah, I think at that point, once you qualify for the Olympics, you're an official Olympian. Hey, man, I'm signed so, up Team Egypt. You get the Olympic tattoo on the side. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, you know. Your kids. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, type okay. shit. Tell us so. what y'all think, though. What do y'all think about this boxer? Do you think uh, Do you think she was done justice? Do you think uh, this whole situation got out of hand? Um, yeah. All right, guys. Like, share, subscribe, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you.